Hey guys, emergency update from our SHOT Show booth in Las Vegas. No doubt you've heard the biggest news in the 2A community, the ATF's final pistol brace rule. Now GOA has been preparing for this moment the second that the preliminary rule drops, and we already have a plan on how we're going to stop it. I'll explain what's going on in this version of the rule and how we're going to fight it. I'm Ben Sanderson, and this is the Minuteman Moment. Bottom line up front, this rule could have serious criminal charges for owners of up to 40 million braces if they don't register their brace firearms with the ATF. Now this final rule gives brace owners the following options to avoid violating the NFA, which comes with a punishment of $250,000 in fines and a hefty prison sentence of up to 10 years per gun. Yep, that's all for only a single braced firearm. Within 120 days, owners must destroy their pistol, turn it into the ATF, reconfigure the braced pistol into a non-NFA firearm, or register their pistol with the ATF as an SBR. Now note, these last two options aren't available to some owners of certain firearms in certain states. These states that have assault weapons ban or banned short-barreled rifles are completely unable to take those last two actions. The ATF has explicitly said that they are not responsible for finding solutions for these people who are affected by the rule in this way. The ATF's justification is that braces turn pistols into so-called dangerous gangster weapons that are heavily regulated by the National Firearms Act, or the NFA, a law that's nearly 100 years old. The truth is, these pistol braces do not make a firearm any more lethal. In fact, the ATF implies this by hiding the insanely low numbers in their rule. Buried in the rule, the ATF says, since 2014, there have been approximately 104 federal criminal classifications where firearms equipped with a stabilizing brace have been received by FATD for classification as part of criminal investigations. Further, since 2015, ATF reports that approximately 63 firearms with stabilizing braces have been traced in criminal investigations. ATF has approximately 105 firearm cases or investigations involving stabilizing braces devices. Okay, so the Firearms and Ammunition Technology Division of ATF, or FAT-D, as they prefer to be called, told criminal investigators that the accessory on a firearm was, in fact, a stabilizing brace, a grand total of 104 times over the course of eight years. That's about 13 times per year. The ATF is turning millions of Americans into criminals because of a device potentially used by criminals a little more than a dozen times per year. Just to give you an idea of how insignificant a problem this is to public safety, FBI statistics report 81 people were murdered by fire and 600 people died by hands and feet in 2019. Is the ATF gonna ban my hand when it's on fire or something? Outrageous. Now here's how we're gonna fight back. The first step is through Congress. The Congressional Review Act, or CRA, allows a vote to approve or disapprove on rules passed by agencies like the ATF. What makes this law special is that we only need 30 pro-gun senators to push it out of committee and ensure that it gets a vote on the floor, even if the committee members or leadership don't want it out there. Even better news is the fact that this skips over the filibuster vote, and that means we only need 51 votes for it to pass. Being that a lot of anti-gun so-called moderates like Joe Manchin, Christian Cinema, John Tester, and others are up for a re-election, it's gonna be a tough vote for them. Plus, since there are more pro-gun members in the House than in last Congress, it has a solid chance of passing both chambers. But we're not done there. We also intend to see the reintroduction of the Short Act. We did a video explaining the Short Act before, and you can watch it by clicking the link in the description. Basically, the Short Act would gut the NFA and deregulate SBRs, SBSs, and AOWs removing the ATF's ability to justify their tyrannical rule. So now comes the next step, which is a lawsuit. You all knew what was gonna happen, and we'll give you an update after we file. But we wanted to give you an update on what GOA is doing with the rule and give you a basic idea of how we intend to fight it. More information on this is soon to come. Thanks for watching the Minuteman Moment. I'll see you next time.